what is up you guys and thank you for joining in for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly this calendar and today we got ourselves a match against Raymond I don't know as Flaming Axel on YouTube he's a very very competent battler so definitely make sure to check him out and subscribe to him like I said very competent very smart always fun to watch and uh, other than that I'm using lantern uh, called Teen Spirit from um, a guy called Shuckle Def who is a follower on Twitter and a very very good battler too uh, so I wanted to make that a chance, or give it a chance, so I, I switched out my Molga, and to buy that, I actually wanted to try it out Delibird. And by doing that, I took out my Bedfist, or rather my Furfro. So I have no defensive wall of my team, I kind of realized that going in, that I'm trouble. Uh, because Regirock and Archeops are the biggest threat on his team. Uh, Driftblim, always tough. Tentacool, could be trouble. Meowstic, don't fear as much, but Valplume covers a lot of grounds. So, by default, I know as long as Archeop is alive that um, I'm gonna have a rough time, to be honest. Uh, so, I had that in mind. My team is Delibird, Lantern, uh, Pangoro, Malamar, Gogoat, and Dustox. So, this is a rather fast-paced battle because I said no defensive walls means that I'm gonna leave a lot of openings. And I have to be the smarter player if I'm even going to win this one. So, let's see what happens. Enjoy! So, the start here was actually really, really funny. I was thinking it's gonna start off with Archeops, I'm gonna start with Delibird. He's gonna go for the Valplume, and I was thinking, okay, I can at least do 50% with Air Lace, and I'm Sash Ailey, I know I can take two hits. First of all, I don't do 50%. Second of all, he don't bring me down to the Sash, but he gets the poison, so he'll take me out anyway. So that's like, wow, really? That That's how we start the game? No. <laughs> So anyway, I go to my dust ducks here, and uh, I'm just gonna go for a Quiver Dance. I should definitely have thought about him uh, switching out to his Archeops straight off the bat, but I, yeah, I didn't think like that at the moment, and it's gonna pay way to him make basically destroying me, because I think he went for Scatag because he think was able to outspeed him. I am not. I'm a bulky motherfucker, and uh, that didn't show in that hit at all. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I get a free switch into my Lantern. I'm just gonna go for an Ice Beam, expecting to switch out to his Valplume, to be honest. Uh, very, very good prediction there, and a very safe one, of course, because Ice Beam will probably take out the Archeops too, to be honest. So I'm gonna expect him to go for Giga Drain here, or Sleep Powder. So I'm just gonna go to my Go-Go, getting that Sap Super going. Mm-hmm. Mmm, -hmm. yum, yum, yum. And I do expect him to go for a Sludge Bomb, and I know I can take that. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide, and I get the Flinch. So I guess we could say that Hax at the start has tried to balance itself out, so that's fine. So he's losing his Valplume, not able to set up. But the thing is, like I said in the beginning there, I have no defensive wall. Archeops can come in and destroy my Go-Goat, and I have no means of stopping that. I just have to accept it at this point, so sorry Go-Goat. So I'm gonna bring in my Teen Spirit here, and uh, I really didn't want to take this head smash but have nothing to take it with and I really didn't think he was going to have Earthquake considering he got the Sky Attack. So I barely lived that one and um, yeah basically that is like the turning point of this game. Archeops out of the way I am able to outspeed or at least so I think with my pokes here. So he's gonna set up Call Mines. I actually wasn't exactly moved in the beginning here so I'm just gonna go for Charge Beam because I didn't really think I'm gonna survive. Of course, I don't get the special attack boost, which definitely would have mattered considering the Pokemon I'm going up against. Uh, so it goes for second Call Mine. So now I know that he's going to attack me next turn, and I know it's most likely going to go for a Dark Pulse. Considered if you go a Psychic move, I have two Dark types left. It's not going to hit me well at all. So I'm going to switch into my Pangoro here because, of course, I can eat up the Thunderbolt with the Volt Absorb. So I might have overstayed my welcome here because I was thinking I was scarfed that. Um, he was going to switch out. He actually stayed in and went for the Thunderbolt, which I thought was too obvious or too dangerous to do considering I got the Lantern. Of course, Thunderbolt will take out my Pangoro, and that is really frustrating. I mean, I went for the Parting Shot. I should definitely have hard switched out instead. And yeah, damn it. So yeah, he played it safe, and uh, it really bite me in the ass. So of course my Zeta tool, my Malamar, will be able to take that Thunderbolt really well, so I'm just gonna finish that off with a Night Slash. But I still have one huge obstacle left, and that's gonna be Patches. So I decided to switch out here because I wanted to find out what kind of set it is. 
Uh, he went for the Endure, so now I know it's the weakness policy set. So that means I can't really go for anything that is super effective. Uh, so I'm gonna stay in and go for a Surf, just getting some ship damage off. And I'm definitely expecting to go for another... Uh, um, yet another... Damn it. <laughs> Shadow Ball, of course. And I'm not in the second move right now. So uh, I'm gonna switch into my Sata tool yet again. And then I'm just gonna go for a Super Power just to troll him. Because I know that a Night Slash will prove to be more than enough. Uh, I actually go for, all, for the um, Acrobatics, which did some fair damage, to be honest. Shadow Ball did more, but you know what? Gotta test your grounds, really, so I get that. So Ridgey Rock is coming in. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a super power, hoping for a stone miss. So smash! And it did some fair damage. It really did. And I'm gonna go for another one, and the stone will miss. And something I probably should have uh, kept in mind was, of course, that this thing probably packs explosion. But I really didn't think we'll go for it. But yeah, you know, desperate measures needs desperate attacks. It is that simple. And explosion will, of course, take me out. Though it was kind of close, it did. It was actually a 40% chance of me surviving that because of the <laughs> of defensive boosts. But anyway, the last matchup are the um, Tentacool against the uh, Lantern. And even though I am doing super effective damage, there is no way in hell I can take this guy out. So, we, yeah, this is basically GG, of course. I do be taken out by Rapid Spin, and. Damn it. The Raven played great here, I, I really like this battle because of that situation alone. And it actually became a really close battle because of it. So, thank you very much for this game, and uh, yeah, now let's go to my ending thoughts. And also, Raven played really well here, and uh, yeah, the only situation I really felt was very, very decisive was the moment when I switched into my Pangoro and was thinking for a second that I was going to be able to have speed. So, I'm going to repeat that once again. Uh, like I said there, I really thought that he would never go for the Thunderbolt because of my Volt Absorb, but he played it really safe there and I should definitely have... I shouldn't have over-predicted there and it really paid the way for how the battle turned out later here. But overall, I think it was a very very good game and like I said, I think Raymond did the right predictions and I think I really even did some right and good predictions. And that's why it comes down to the last vote and I think that's what's made the game so really so good. And also should give more credit to Raymond. I mean, he's one of those battlers that I do I do respect him as a battler because he's very very creative. And uh, of course, the Sky Attack Archeops was maybe a little overkill on my moth, but you know what? Why the hell not? I was I think he was thinking that I was going to outspeed him, so that's why I wanted me to be obliterated from the start there. And well, <laughs> it definitely got me. Um, so yeah, other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. Have a good day, alright? Take care. Bye!